cicadas. We all find these as kids and we play with them and they're really cool. But where do they come from? And where do they go? And why do they leave that behind? Today we're on the trail of cicadas. cicadas like this this is literally halfway through their life matter of fact they're almost at the end of their life most of them see what happens is uh, they start their life the mom once she's mated she literally makes a little groove in these branches way high in these trees makes a little groove and she lays what looks like a little grain of rice literally that's the egg when that little baby when that larva hatches out it begins to creep around sucking on the juices in that groove and it feeds and grows and feeds and grows until eventually it leaves that twig behind, drops onto the ground and burrows down. And then it starts looking for roots. It could be grass roots or flower roots until eventually when they're big enough, they'll move on to tree roots. Then they burrow in, they, they take the, what's called their labium, the beak of the, or the labium of their beak, and they literally stick it into the roots of these plants and they suck juices and that's how they grow. Now, some of these cicadas are going to be taking uh, two years. Some are going to be taking as many as 17 years. That is to mature. When they mature, they're going to creep back up onto these trees and they're going to latch hold and then there they're going to pupate in that shell. Now this is what we're used to finding. That is the exuvium, the exoskeleton of that pupation. You can see the split in the back of the thorax right there. That's where the animal emerged in its adult form to crawl all the way to the top of the tree and start the whole life cycle over again. I actually had a chance to film one of these cicadas coming out of its shell. I want you to check this out. So we were camping up in North Florida in the Torreya State Park and um, I had leaned this piece of wood up against the picnic table and after dinner I came out of the camper and this cicada had crawled up on this piece of wood and was coming out of its shell. So I ran back in and got my camera equipment because I thought, oh man, I can't miss the opportunity to film this. This is just so cool. So I began to film it and as I'm watching it, I literally, I, you can actually see its wings beginning to unfurl. They were folded up all crinkly and now they're beginning to unfurl to open back up. The animals live, the, uh, cicadas are insects, so they have an open circulatory system. So they're literally going to take their, what's called their hemolymph, and they're going to pump it into the veins of their wings. And that's going to help to push this wing straight to make sure that they're nice and, uh, and, and firm. And that's what's going to give them some rigidity. After that, they simply have to set up and let it dry. Now, everything that you've been seeing here, I condensed down to about 70 seconds. It took almost, uh, almost an hour for the animal to do this. Now, the next morning, when it was completely dry, there was no way for it to get to a tree because it was up on this piece of wood right beside the picnic table. So I got it under my hand and I got it over. Uh, to where the tree is and I put him up on a tree so he can start climbing up to where he needs to be Now if you look close his front right leg his front right foot doesn't work It keeps sliding on the tree. There was something deformed about it But I guess cicadas just don't know when to quit this guy right here. I think is a swamp cicada I think that's the species he is uh, I'm not really sure I'm not that up on cicadas, but man was it absolutely amazing to watch this animal do its thing because I've never seen it before, and I'm glad that I was able to share it with you. I was walking around, and I found this cicada on the ground. In the fall, once they're done with their life cycle, they basically end up just dying and falling out of the trees, which is, you can almost hear them, because they'll be up buzzing, bzz, 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 and it sounds like, uh, it sounds like a, f a fighter plane has been shot out of the air. <laughs> they literally hit the ground. It's really, 
it, if it weren't so sad that they were dying, it would almost be humorous. But here you can see, this is an example of a cicada. Uh, you can see, if I flip it over, uh, you can actually see right down through the middle of their, uh, right between their legs. Let's see if I can't pop this out. It's not really focusing that well. Okay. See, right down between their legs, that little thing that runs right down there, that's their labium. That's what they're gonna jab into that tree. And their, their, um, their timbal, what they're gonna use to make sound with, if this is a male, uh, I gotta pull the wings off. And get that wing off and get the hind wing off. And you can kind of see right where I pull those wings off, right in that area, that's where their timbal would be. So when they are in and making songs, they are literally just contracting and expanding that dee 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 like this and that's that's how they're doing that's how they make that amazingly loud sound cicadas just absolutely cool animals i'm greg thompson i'll see you on the trail mm -hmm.